As promised by DE, we have another update, and that is of course update 22.11. Now we do have Tenogen Round 11 Part 2 of 3, because of course they did split up the full round of Tenogen 11 into three separate parts. So moving on, we have Octavia's Diva skin by Lakinu, we have Oberon's Wendigo skin by Volbjorn, and the Graphical Warus, Haroque Rax by Fathom, we have Excalibur Corpora by Freling Hazmot, Trinity Nightess by Rakao, the Saren Velenosa skin by Hitsasan, Anaros' Kefri alternate helmet by LED2012, the Corona Sign Dana by Hitsasan, Tanaka Sign Dana by Master Noob, Diva's Polearm skin by Lakinu, and the Tengakan Heavy Blade by Beast Buster. Moving on to additions, we have the ability to purchase the Moat Ant Blueprint from Onko's inventory, just in case you sold yours and you want it back. They've added the ability to link your custom-made Zors into the chat just by typing their name. They've also added subcategories into the object section of your codex with resources, Iotan, and miscellaneous. And they've also added glyphs for the Inaros Canopic alternate helmet, the Avara Zarastra alternate helmet, and the Wukong Makuk alternate helmet. So there's two glyphs for each of those alternate helmets. Moving on, we have some mining additions and changes. They've added some sound effects and custom sounds to specific sections of mining, whether you got a perfect mine or just three out of the X amount of gems. And on the topic of gems, they've made it so the gem count will stay there for the full duration of mining, and they've made it so the mining outline will stay there for a full eight seconds while you're cutting. And they've also reduced the accuracy required to get a perfect mining extraction, which means you don't have to be as close to the line as you did before. As for changes, they've made it so the final stage of all the bounties will now reward an item from Tier 1 or Tier 2, instead of Tier 0, 1 or 2. They've reduced the value of the Moat Amp when selling it for credits to 2,500. They've improved the Spectre's firing logic during the hold position, and they've also improved the fire rate of the Mesa Spectre when it's using Peacemaker. They've made a few sound optimizations as well, and they've also made it so mastery rank locked items will now display the exact mastery rank that you can actually get it at, instead of just saying mastery locked. And you can also preview your custom Zor builds from Hawk in Cetus and Amps from Onko in Cetus, just by selecting the parts that you don't own, and then it will show up with the exact stats of the items that you selected. Now keep in mind that it will only show the stats if you've selected all three of the items. Moving on, we have fixes, and as usual, they are up on the screen. You can read them here, or you can just read them over at the forum thread. A link to it will be in the description. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.